Hey, what's up, guys? It's Libo here, and we hit 3,500 subscribers. So, real quickly, I want to say I'm grateful for all your guys' support from watching the videos, dropping a like, commenting, and being in the streams. Because, man, without all your guys' support and you guys watching me, I would not be here and I've gotten this far and or achieved this milestone. So, thank you guys for always supporting me and showing me a ton of love. Today's video, though, is a Q&A, questions and answers. I'm going to be answering some of your guys' questions that you guys had for me. And I can't wait to get into it because we have some very good questions from you guys. So, for the first question, we have Roroi who I've collabed with before. And he asked, are you black? No, I am brown. I, I will say that um, the lighting makes it not so that, but like I am brown. I got a little bit of tone in me. I'm from the Philippines. So my mom is like light, you know, and then my dad says he's works outside and all that stuff. And he's just naturally brown and somewhat a little bit dark we get that like a little tan mix you know what i'm saying but yeah i i'm not black I, i'm filipino and asian rowan money asks when did you start playing call of duty and what was your favorite things about the game so my first call of duty ever was modern warfare 2 from 2009 the original modern warfare 2 arguably the greatest call of duty game of all time up there with black ops 2 so i started playing around the age of four years old but yeah my favorite things about the game it was definitely the sniping part because my cousin Rico, even though he used to red gun, he was a huge sniping guy and he still is, right? And he would show me sniping clips of face clan and all that stuff and like sore, obey, clans like that, but specifically face clan. My favorite part about Modern Warfare 2 was the sniping and trick shotting because dude, it, it, it was insane that, that players and people could do this with a controller, you know what I mean? So that was my favorite part about Modern Warfare 2. So I started playing around 2009 with Modern Warfare 2, and my favorite thing was trick shotting and sniping. Mr. Exterminator asked, what made you start your YouTube career and what made you start making Call of Duty content? So for my YouTube career, I mean, I kind of talked about it in my anniversary video that I made a couple days ago. So what made me start this YouTube channel and this YouTube career that I'm on now is the fact that I didn't really like posting on Instagram at all and or streaming. So I wanted to start making content on YouTube. But literally what made me start my YouTube career is the fact that I just did not like streaming at the time and or posting on Instagram. And I wanted to do long form co commentary videos like Phase Jev, like Agent Zero, all that stuff. And to answer what made me start creating Call of Duty content, it's a whole bunch of things. So first off, Fortnite was just drowned in like sweats, bots, and like the content was so saturated. Then I was just getting worse at Fortnite and not able to keep up because of school, me just not wanting to play the game. And I just lost interest in Fortnite for a while and creating content for it. When Modern Warfare 2 rolled around and seeing the success of Warzone 1 and Modern Warfare 2019 and Cold War, the fact that I had a PC this time and a PC that can run the game, that's what made me start creating Call of Duty content, man. And it was a, it was not like a first on natural switch that everyone followed on to. Like I lost some viewers from all that stuff from switching from Fortnite to Call of Duty, but it was all worth it, man. But yeah, I literally started doing YouTube because I was bored of streaming and creating content on only Instagram. And I started creating Call of Duty content because I lost love and interest for creating Fortnite content. Absolute Razor asks, what is your favorite thing about Call of Duty? So I, I think my favorite thing about Call of Duty will always be sniping, like just trying to get a quad feed right but also i think my new favorite thing that i've had since i started creating call of duty content is just pub stomping pub stomping on good players bad players more so good players because it just feels good that when when you have that competition and then like you start beating them and beating them and beating them in every gunfight right and then you either win or lose it i don't care about wins or losses in call of duty but like the fact that you, i made more progress than you more kills more progression towards something than you the fact that I did more than you in that one singular game, that means I'm better than you. That, that, that I, That's my favorite thing. Like, it's like psychological warfare about a freaking game. That does not matter. That won't matter in a year's time. I just, I think my favorite part about Call of Duty now is just pub stomping and the camo grind for both multiplayer and whatever the third game mode is. So yeah, like my favorite thing, I, I wouldn't say I have a favorite thing, but like it will go like this. Camo grind's my favorite thing. That's the first thing I always do for every new Call of Duty. And then my second favorite thing is to snipe for a bit and or pub stomp. You could, you know, change those two. But yeah, those are my favorite things about Call of Duty. I wouldn't say I would have a favorite thing. Hyper Laser asks, what got you into YouTube content creation and why did it interest you? 
and what are your long-term goals what got me into youtube content creation like the idea of it i got that from just being a kid watching youtubers like chris smooth jev vanos gaming and like 2k youtubers like simply grinding and agent zero duke dennis like that kind of stuff like the cut commentaries those like challenge videos random videos like even when i was like six seven years old i always wanted to be a youtuber so that's what kind of got me into youtube content creation and i had so much interest in becoming a youtuber for so long now because of the fact that i want to entertain and give the same feeling that i got from watching youtubers that i just mentioned like i was always excited to watch my day was always better kind of like in a different realm where like you know everything's good you know what i'm saying and i'm entertained and i feel i just feel better so that interest of wanting to do that for someone else with my videos and my content is what made me interested in doing youtube and for my long-term goals man i don't even know dude because the last time i did a q a was in 2022 so about two years now, my long-term goals from two years ago is way different from my long-term goals now. So my long-term goals, I'll give you guys three. My long-term goals right now is one, get a college degree, which hopefully I do get. Two, hit 10,000 subscribers within the next two years. And then for three, I kind of just want to be like at a state of mind or like state of peace within my mind, you know? But yeah, those are my long term goals. And for the rest, these are questions that I've been asked throughout videos and streams that I wanted to pile up and just give answers to. So these questions I'm asked a lot of. So I just want to answer them for you guys. So I'm always asked, like, who's my favorite artist? I have two favorite artists of all time, Lil Uzi Vert and Juice World. And just to give you like a top three, Lil Uzi and Juice World could be one or two right? You can switch them both. A good third spot for me is Lil Peep. So yeah, those are my favorite music artists. Another question I get asked a lot is, do I watch anime? And if so, what is my favorite? So I do watch anime. I, I prefer animation and just like cartoons and all that stuff a lot more than like actual TV shows. But my favorite anime of all time is either between Fairy Tale and or Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. Those two animes, if you guys have not watched them, watch them. But yeah, like my favorite animes are those two. Fairy Tale is the first anime that I watched by myself. I first got introduced into anime by my older sister, and she showed me Naruto versus Sasuke for Naruto Shippuden in the final battle. And then she showed me Fairy Tale because it was a lot more digestible at my age. And I've kept up with the show ever since. And then for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, one of my old high school friends told me about it, and I watched the entire series in like three weeks. Concept, the, the art, the art style, everything about Jojo's Bizarre Adventure is super cool. Another question I get asked is, why did I choose my username to be AO Limbo? What's the origins of my username? So AO Limbo is literally what I am called by a lot of people I was friends with in high school and middle school and now in college. People say A Limbo or AO Limbo or what's up Limbo. Like nobody says my first name, which is Ethan. Everyone calls me Limbo. I am not Ethan. I am Limbo. The only people who are calling me Ethan are my cousins and my family. No one ever calls me Ethan at all. It just feels out of place. It's just really, really weird, okay? I remember one time somebody knew of me and they didn't know that my first name was Ethan at all. Like once I met them at a party. The reason why I chose my username to be AO Limbo is because literally that is what I am called at an everyday basis from my friends all the way from middle school to high school to now. Everyone just says A Limbo, A O Limbo, or just Limbo. Another question I'm asked a lot of is what nationality slash ethnicity am I? So I'm Filipino, I'm Asian. I'm all the way in the Philippines, okay? We speak Tagalog and I was born in the United States of America, but yeah, I'm Filipino, I'm Asian, and I'm proud to be that, okay? A lot of people mix me up from being Spanish, which I, I don't, you know, I'm not mad about it, but I do see why, because freaking Philippines was raided and invaded for years. Um, I'm pretty sure the Spaniards or just Spanish people in general. I think Spain, yeah. Another question I get is how old am I? Some people think I'm 25, like early 20s, late 20s. Someone said I look like 36. But yeah, like I've gotten comments about people asking for my age and I'm 19 years old. Somehow, I look old as hell. I don't know. Former FaZe Clan member Muse, FaZe Muse, thought I was like early 20s or mid 20s. Other people thought I was 16, 17. And some people think I'm in my late 30s trying to be a teenager still. I don't know. I don't know, but I am 19 years old, born February 11th, 2005. Another question I'm asked is if I'm in high school still or I'm in college. I'm a sophomore now in college. I graduated high school over a year ago now, so I'm starting my second year in a couple of days. I major in IT, so yeah. But yeah, those are my answers to your guys' questions. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Drop a like, subscribe. Thank you guys for 3,500 subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.